coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skill. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that, but when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon, and it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything, but nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon, and every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 234 pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, the great! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda! All right, move to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go. Round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got into the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submission. 
Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch lands over the top. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Slips the shot. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not inspecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Big knee lands. All right, so right now he's on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transitions. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. So 44 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nice punch by Nurmagomedov. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Nurmagomedov's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. able to slip the left there. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lands with the right hand. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch, landing with so much power. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. He come out aggressively to start this fight and landing at a pretty good clip too, connecting on a lot of shots up top to the body. Very technical striker, but tonight really as aggressive approach as we've seen out of him in his UFC career. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the target. And again, for the taller fighter, making it look easy as he raises that limb up top. Well, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity right, and right, right time for land the strike. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. 
All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, a very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just out of range with that right hook. Connects with the right. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick. Namago head off, upper cut is blocked. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. He has now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's gonna go behind it. Great punch. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmago is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Over three minutes to go. Single collar tie now. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice straight punch. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, though, you see. Blocks the shot. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Secure that takedown and win the round. Good stick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Oh! That punch, no good. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left knee from Cuddy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Right on the button. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 20 seconds to go round two. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh. What a fight 
so far. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the records and adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're treating, it stays this close. Got to really switch it up. Good corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big leg kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Strong defense there to block the shot. Spinning back fist. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Right, single collar tie now, and both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful strike. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Right hand punch from the clinch. Man, that cut has really opened up. You can't take many of those, you better check. Nice right hand. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, knee to the head. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight for both fighting stances. Oh, nice jab. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Good punch, land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Nermago Menov gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Oh, single collar tie here. That one's stuck in. Nice, right. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude. He's a bad. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, what a punch. Medov gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. What a f-
fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. No Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 24 seconds of the third round. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.